हाउ स्टूडेंट्स इन दिस पर्टिकुलर वीडियो लेक्चर ऑफ चैप्टर मैं वी विल टॉक अबाउट सर्कम फेरेंस एंड एरिया ऑफ सर्कल सो टू राइट डाउन द फॉर्मूलाज फॉर सर्कम फेरेंस एंड एरिया वी विल फर्स्ट कंसिडर अ सर्कल विथ लेट्स ए सेंटर सी एंड लेट्स ए द रेडियस ऑफ द सर्कल इज आर ऑल्सो इफ आई कंसिडर द डायामीटर ऑफ द सर्कल देन लेट्स ए द लेंथ ऑफ द डायामीटर इज डी नाउ to find out the circumference of the circle let us see what is the formula that is available with us before that what exactly is circumference of a circle to understand the circumference what i can do is i can break this circle in one point if i break it in one point then what i'm going to do is i will represent this round shape of the circle in the form of a straight line because i have taken a cut or a break at any one point i can now straighten out this circle in the form of a straight line and if i do it and if i measure the length of that entire line which will be obtained that will become the circumference of the circle in other simple words circumference is nothing but the total length of the perimeter of the circle so let us see what is circumference mathematically now i can relate circumference with diameter of the circle if i know the circumference and if i know the value of diameter of the circle and if i take the ratio then this ratio comes out to be a very interesting constant which we call pi it is written by a greek letter it is read as pi pi now this pi is a constant which means you consider any circle circle of any radius a very small circle a very large circle if you measure its circumference and diameter if you take this ratio then this ratio will always come out to be this constant value pi which means that i can represent circumference of a circle by this formula that says pi into d pi multiplied by the diameter but we also know that students diameter d is nothing but twice the radius 2r so i can replace d with 2r and that gives me one more formula for the circumference of the circle so this is how if you know the radius or the diameter of the circle you can calculate circumference let us now talk about area of the circle to discuss the area i will once again consider a circle and let's say this is the center of the circle to express area of circle what i can do is i can divide circle into many small sectors you can see that we are dividing circle into different different sectors and we are doing this by or with the help of diameters all these diameters that will be passing through the center of the circle now what i'm going to do is i'm going to replace all these sectors i will take up uh, one sector at a time and place it in a very specific way so let us do it i will consider first sector and i will place first sector something like this now i will consider the adjacent sector and i will place adjacent sector in this particular fashion so i have taken two centers next to each other i'll now go for the third sector and i'll place it something like this i will now take the fourth sector fifth sector and i will keep on doing this till the time i have covered all the sectors now what do we achieve by doing this you can see that by placing all these sectors in this very particular fashion i can get an approximate shape of a rectangle now you might say that this is not a rectangle because this side is slant it's not vertical also uh, you can see there are curves here there is no straight line available which is completely true but this is the case just because we have taken a specific number of sectors of specific size if i divide circle into more and more and more number of sectors with the width of the sector becoming smaller and smaller in that case you can imagine students the shape that we will ultimately get will look very much like a rectangle so this is the idea that we are going to use to express the area of the circle so let us assume this is a rectangle tell me what will be the length this length of the rectangle you can see that this length is formed by half number of sectors because half number of sectors are pointing up and remaining half are pointing down now you can see that this curve 
is nothing but it is forming the circumference of the circle. So if I'm saying that half sectors are up, half sectors are down, that means this length is half of the circumference, which will be pi r. So this length is also pi r. So pi r plus pi r together will make it 2 pi r, which is one complete circumference of the circle. What about the width of the rectangle? This was the center point. It's coming from here. So from center up to any point on the circle, the, the distance is nothing but radius. So the width of this rectangle on both the side is r. So you can see that if I approximate this placement of uh, different sectors in the form of a rectangle, then I can express area of circle as area of rectangle. And what is area of rectangle? It is nothing but length into width. So pi r into r and that gives me pi r square. So this becomes, students, the formula for area of a circle, pi r squared. So if you know the radius, square it, multiplied by pi, you get area of the circle. So to calculate circumference as well as area, we must have the value of pi. Now what is a pi? We said that pi is a constant. We know a few interesting things about pi. We cannot represent pi precisely using finite number of digits, but we can always write its approximate value, 3.14159. In many calculations, we might just go up to two decimal places uh, after the decimal point. So uh, I can also use the value of pi as 3.14. In some cases, we may use rational approximation of pi, which is 22 by 7. 22 by 7 approximately comes out to be the value of pi. So these are some approximate values which we can use in our calculations. So I hope students, these two formulas are clear to you. Let us now solve a couple of questions which will involve circumference and area of circle. So the first question says, given a circle with diameter d equal to 14 centimeter, find its area and circumference. So let us solve the very first question first. To find the uh, area and circumference, we have the formula with us. Area is nothing but pi r square and circumference is nothing but To pi r or I can also write it as pi d. Now the diameter of the circle is given as 14 centimeters. So we know that I can express uh, area which is pi r square as pi, question says take pi as 22 by 7 and r square. But what will be r? r is nothing but diameter by 2. Because diameter is 14 centimeter, r will be nothing but 7 centimeter. So if I use r here, R, as r square so you can see 7 will cancel out and 22 into 7 will be nothing but 154 centimeter square so that's the area of the given circle what about the circumference i can use formula 2 pi r or also pi d pi d gives me pi 22 by 7 and diameter of the circle is given to be 14 so i know that 7 twos are 14 so 22 into 2 will be nothing but 44 centimeter. So 44 centimeter will be the circumference of the circle. No doubt this will be an approximate value because we have taken an approximation for pi in the form of 22 by 7. Uh, next question says that for a circle with area of 144 pi centimeter squared, find its circumference. So this time area is given to us, but we know that area is nothing but pi r squared and it is given to be 144 times pi. So if I compare this two, you can see pi will cancel out and we get r square equal to 144. If r square is 144, then r will be square root of 144, which is 12. So r becomes 12 centimeter because area was given as centimeter square. So if the value of r is 12 centimeter, then I can easily now find circumference of the circle and circumference will be nothing but 2 pi r, which will be 2 into pi into 12. And we know that 12 twos are 24, so this will be 24 pi centimeter. I can keep my answer in the form of pi. If some value of pi was given, we can replace it also, let's say pi as 22 by 7, and we can find out the further answer. But because area was also given in the form of pi, we will keep circumference also in the form of pi, and it becomes 24 pi. 